Right, so I did a, a little uh, survey about basic math with the Kurgan, if anybody was interested. And I've got a 100% reply of yes, by one person, since I just did the survey about five minutes ago. So uh, that's good enough for me. <laughs> I got a little space, so I thought I'd do this. So what we're covering today is the concept of area, which uh, a lot of people don't understand how it works. And we're going to do a little overview, which hopefully will be quite interesting, and then um, leave you with a little bit of a homework. So area, the concept of area, as we see as the square is, you know, one side multiplied by the other side in the case of a square. Why does that work? Because what we're basically saying is this distance, which is two, multiplied by this distance, which basically means if you think of it as writing, you know, as drawing one thin line next to each other, next to each other, so you've got one, two, three, etc., until you fill up the whole square, you could think of it as painting the, the area with little lines. And that's basically what you're doing. You're multiplying this length by that length until the whole thing is filled in. And that gives you, in this case, two by two is four, which is the area. So easy enough to get, right? So now, now that you understand that concept, if you do understand it, you should be able to figure out why the area of a circle is pi r squared. Do you know why? Think about it for a second. Can you, from just understanding this concept, yeah, if you understand this concept of what, as I call it, the painting in of this one line alongside, you should be able to figure out why the area of a circle is pi r squared. Do you know how to do that? Well, let's figure it out together. So, what you need to know, first of all, is that the diameter of a circle fits on the circumference 3.142 times. That's what pi is. So d, the diameter, multiplied by 3.142, etc., gives you the same distance as the circumference. So that's that little formula. Diameter is equal to, I mean, uh, sorry, circumference is equal to the diameter multiplied by pi. Another way that you can write diameter, of course, is half, um, I mean, the radius, sorry, is half of the diameter. So that's the radius, half of a diameter. So you could write diameter as 2r, or you could write r, radius, as half of d, because it's half of that length. Now, how do you figure out the area of a circle is, what if you open the circle? In other words, we break it up here and we stretch it all out. So there's your r, here's your circumference half stretched out, and if you stretch it all out, you end up with r by the circumference, so the radius times the circumference. And if you do that, that's the same exercise as up here, where you're basically painting the whole area, right? So you could do radius times the circumference gives you an area, but there's a little difference because this is not a rectangle. If you do that, what you really want to do is you want to put a pin in the radius there and spin it around the whole circumference. Now, how do you do that? Well, the only way to do that is if you think of the radius as being the full distance out there at the edge to zero, because this point doesn't move at all. That point of the radius, you want it spinning all the way around. So what's the average between the full radius and zero? It's going to be half of a radius because it's a circle. So the r must go from the full radius r to zero. So half of r. So what you want to do is this, instead of r, make it half of r times the circumference. And that'll give you the area. Now, you can also write, remember, the circumference is equal to the diameter multiplied by pi. And the diameter could also be written as 2 radius. So you could write the circumference as 2 radius times pi. So you now have half the radius times 2 radius times pi. That's what that distance is. So here we write it again as half of the radius, right? Because the radius goes from full radius to zero because it's spinning, times 2r times pi, because that's another way to write the circumference. 
remember the circumference is pi times the diameter diameter can be written as 2r so that's where you get that from and if you substitute half multiplied by 2 is 1 so that cancels out r times r is the same as r squared and there you have r squared times pi and that is how you figure out the area of a circle now using these very same principles you should be able to figure out from first principles the volume of a sphere as well as the volume of a cube and so on so uh, my next explanation is going to be about the volume of a sphere but I'm going to do that in the next session if you do enjoy this do let me know because I could make a little series of it for all the innumerate people that unfortunately inhabit earth and if you're a homeschooler maybe this uh, could be helpful I'll try and keep this uh, child friendly too in case you want to see it um, okay I've just sort of filmed the whole board from top to bottom a bit slowly so that you can pause it and uh, hopefully read it at your own pace and speed in case I've gone so over something a bit too quick okay there let me know if you like it or not bye